Hello there, I am Giant Grodel with more Pokemon Emerald. In the last part we got here to Mastoop City, we did a couple things, but now I want to show you guys more Mastoop City, and then we're gonna, and then in this part we're gonna take on the gym and show more Mastoop City as I said. So here's Scott, Grodel feeling good, I'm doing great. I heard Mastoop's gym leader is pretty strong, so I decided to come take a look-see for myself. But there's something wrong about this town, people were going on about a warning letter and the space center. I don't think it concerns me in any way though. Well, that's not very nice to say that. Anyway, here is it's a right walk. It's a white rock, yeah. There's rumors where you can use that to catch Jiratsi without using the event, but I think those rumors are false. In here Hey there trainer, a super rod is really super. Say all you want but this baby can catch Pokemon off the sea floor. What do you think? You want it, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? You bet. Yeah, and I said yes. You bet. You bet. After all, a super rod is really super. Now I don't know exactly what new Pokemon we could catch with a super rod off the, um, that we couldn't catch with like a good rod. So I'll just put them on the screen right now because I don't know off the top of my head. And then over here we go all the way back around, and in here is. The Space Center, where Steven is. Hey, Gordo, have you read that proclamation already? Team Magma is coming after the rocket fuel on this island. I don't know what they need it for, but they can't be allowed to take it. I'll keep my, I'll keep an eye on things for a while longer. In the meantime, why don't you go check out the town? Here's this letter. It says, This is an intent to steal notice. To the staff of the Space Center, how are you? We're, we are doing fine. We will soon visit you to take your rocket fuel. Please don't try to stop us. We will take the fuel no matter what. Let there be more land. Team Magma. Now, it would be funnier if, you know, we could hear that, you know, coming out of Maxi's mouth. Team, well, it probably is coming from his mouth, but, like, it would be, it'd be funnier if it was a Team Maxi voice from the anime. Team Maxi? I am Maxi of Team Magma. I can't do the voice. I just can't. Anyway, here's the, the same link we saw in Fortress City. Every, even though I can't see my friend in Fortree, my Pokemon carries my own back and forth for us. I am not lonesome even though we are apart. That's kinda sad. I'm sorry. My little sister exchanges mail with her boyfriend in Fortree. I don't envy her a bit at all. Her, one bit at all, I don't know. That's not very nice. I didn't mean to go back in. Okay. So with all that done, we're gonna take on the gym now. Cause... I think that's all. By the way, this is Steven's house by the way, but obviously it's empty because he's in the space center right now. So let's take on the gym now. Let's just go in. Now I have Speedy up front because uh, he has Shadow Ball. And I don't have any dark type Pokemon or ghost type Pokemon always, so I don't feel like the same type of attack bonus, but it's better than nothing. So you know. I have um, Knight as backup. And then, like, of course, Blaine and Shrooms, you know, they're weak to Psychic type Pokemon because they're both fighting type Pokemon or half fighting type Pokemon. So, yeah, they won't see much action in this gym because they're at a disadvantage, so you know. Okay, so here's the Vice Keeper. Yeah, how is it going, Champion Brown Grodel? The gym waiters, the gym waiters here use Psychic type Pokemon. Yeah, there's two gym waiters because it's Kate and Liza, they're twins. If you go up against them with fighting or poison type of one, they'll inflict horrible damage. Plus, they'll come at you with outstanding combination attacks. If you want to win, you'll need to show them how tight you are with your Pokemon. Go for it. Thanks. So this is the teleporter that I teleport you at the very beginning, but you know, it's not in the news right now. So I, I, I really haven't done this puzzle like as a practice, so I might be a little rusty at it. Battles hinge, ah, uh, sorry, I skipped over dialogue. The roads ahead. The roads you have traveled, what you have experienced, come at me with everything you've learned. Okay. So it's a double battle, so Knight and Speed will be sent out. So Curlia and a Kadabra. Um, I want to take out the Kadabra first, it seems more of a threat. So I'm going to use Shadow Ball on the Kadabra, and we can use Headbutt on the Kadabra, because I want to be cool if could like, flinch, you know. Okay, there goes the Shadow Ball. Oh, one hit KO'd it, nice. 
That's awesome. Well, Speedy is level 39, but you know. Interesting. Head but on the Kaweya, then maybe this will flinch the Kaweya. Ooh, it's so close to painting it. Wow. I'll have to have a really good start. Let's use headbutt and then headbutt again. <laughs> Two headbutts moves, yeah. Okay, this worked out great. Man. What a good first battle. There we go, they were defeated. Travel the path of greatness. <laughs> I don't know. I've missed, I've missed red half like your dialogue right there. Sorry. Thanks for the $17.28, guys. I appreciate it. So we can go in this teleporter now. And then here's another battle. I'm, I'd rather just, some of these you can make two separate battles out of, some of them I think. But I could, I'd rather have the double battle because they're a little bit more funner. And I seem to go, in my opinion, they go a little bit faster. Just a little bit. <laughs> Watch me levitate a Pokemon, a Pokeball telepathy. Telekine- I misread that word totally. Roar. Sometimes out of out of sync. I see it. I see your future. If you can beat me, I will tell you your future. Oh, that sounds promising. Will I beat the Pokemon League? Will I become a Pokemon Master? One more turn 11. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ah, uh, Ash in the anime. The age baby and all that. It just you can go both ways. I don't, I don't really have an opinion on that. Or preference. I, I've an opinion on it, but I don't like a preference. But then again, that doesn't really make any sense if I have an opinion on it, but I don't have a preference. I'm misleading. Okay, so I'm gonna do shot. I'm gonna take out the Zatu first. I don't really shadow ball. And let's do take down. I'm gonna do this with one hit KO it. We'll see. Ah, I did a little bit more than half. That's okay. Future sight. I think that takes two turns to actually uh, land on one of the Pokemon to take the future side attack and then I think it does 100 base power of a psychic move like it's a little bit more powerful than psychic because I think psychic has a 90 base power so you know and let's use let's use strength on the Drufferig and then another takedown okay hopefully this will paint it I don't want to waste all my shadow balls so I'm trying to conserve them I'm thinking I'm a ghost type using Ogre Sleuth interesting I don't think we'll get to the battle that gym waiters in this part, but that's okay. We'll save it for the next part, just to let you guys know. Because this gym does take a little bit. It does take some time. And there we go. I surrender. <laughs> Which one do we go to? This one? Maybe this? Or the other one? Oh man, that's confusing. Let's go this one first, I guess. Another double battle. Let me show you a perfectly awful horrifying time. That's not very nice. Roar, take a taste of my super Pokemon. Of my super Pokemon hard battle and power. Yeah, that's exactly, is that, that's exactly what a female psychic type trainer would look like. Or sound like. Or a psychic trainer, I guess you could say. Kadabra and Wobbuffet. Well, I'm gonna use Shadow Ball on the Kadabra. Cause it should. I think it didn't hit like that first Kadabra, so. And then. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna try Anti on the Walk Pet. I don't know if it hit though. So if it gives a Shadow Ball. Let's see if this one kills it. Yes, it does. Nice. Okay, and the Iron Tail. Yes, it hits. Nice. Did just about half. Oh man, not Destiny Bond. Not Destiny Bond, why? Let's use. Let me just give Shadow Ball if I have to go down. And then we'll use Headbutt, I guess. This should paint the wall with it though. Shadow Ball. Uh, oh, good thing I used the Headbutt, nice. And a Lord. Oh, it's a Lord did special defenses. But it's kinda too little too late for that, because it's already dead. Okay, I already took, it took Night with it, dang it. Okay, as long as speed doesn't go down because it has the Shadow Ball. Level 40 for Speedy, nice. That's all she wrote. No. Oh, done in. Okay, and. I think we were supposed to go in this room second, if my memory serves me correctly. Like the first room we saw winning that we. Uh, 
quick as I dream that does one is just going to keep anything. Okay, speeder will be my next slot up though. We'll go back and do that then once I finish this um Oh, it's a single battle. I messed that up. Sorry guys. If you're not going through to the end, not if I can help. If you're not going through the, to the end, not if I can help it. So wait, uh, this is a single battle. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't even pay attention to that. It was it wasn't like a it lined up to be a double battle? That stinks. And I oh come on, double battle would have been so quick as the not two is like a pre evolved form, so it's not as powerful as the Zav two. My goodness. And I'll just use a shadow ball. I messed that up. I feel so bad about that now, cause like I like to see these all in double battles, cause it's fun. It's like, like they said, it's good combinations of moves if you can pick that conversation. Conver conversation, no, combination, sorry. How could you be so ineluctantly lug lug luxury? I'm so bad at reading, never mind, strong. Next play, that wasn't 64 cents. So, like, I was supposed to press the switch again and make it a double battle, but I messed that up. In my past, it may be past my prime, but I suggest you're not you you not patronize me. Whatever. Yeah, but you put me on as one Pokemon just like the other trainer. Yeah, that's right. Drefrig, okay. So what I'm gonna do first is like I'm gonna use a strength lot and then shadow ball. But let's see how much the strength strength does. Just out of curiosity. So it does okay, I'll just do my strength then. Just thinking I'm a ghost type. It's using that Otis Sleuth. And there we go. This traffic should go down. There we go. That's awesome. And yeah. I, ah, you overflow with the power of youth. Thanks for $28.80, man. I really appreciate it. Okay, so if we go all the way down here, what will this lead us to? That. Okay, I'll deal with that later, because I messed that up probably. Let's go in the other room real quick, just to, just to see. Other oh, room right here, okay. And here's another double battle. Finally, Peter will get some screen time now. Let's let me see your talent. Ho ho ho! You you need me to show you how te tenacious the Pokemon, the second Pokemon can be. I am so bad at being, I'm sorry guys. Okay, one Pokemon each, a Rolts, and a Spoink, okay. Not too bad. So, what I'm gonna do is let me use Shadow Ball on this Spoink, not the Spoink, but the Rolts. And then we'll use Surf to hit them both, I guess. There goes the Rolts. It's just again another pre evolved Pokemon, so it's easier to KO than like the uh, evolved one, I guess you could say. And this shouldn't, yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was pretty much sure that um, Surf one of when he KO'd that spawn, surprisingly, but you know. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heal Confusion, just so I don't accidentally hit myself in Confusion if I go first. And then I'm gonna use Surf again, and then this battle will probably be over, most likely. So I'll just use Surf again. Miracoat, no, not Miracoat. No, it's gonna hit back at me twice as hard. Twice as. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe I messed that up. Did you use Magic Coat or Miracoat? I think you used Magic Coat. <sighs> I forget what that does. I'll put, I'll put a textual bite just to explain what it does because I don't know what it does on top of my head. Anyway, the battle's over. I thought it was magical. I thought Squink used magical for some reason. Whereas, when Miyoko, it used magic. It used magical, but I thought it used Miyoko. There we go. Thanks for seventy-four dollars and eighty-eight cents. I got that much because um, Peter has the M coin as a held item. So yeah, I'm gonna switch these guys around. Okay, oh, I think I know what to do. Nope, not that. Not that. But like that. Okay, cool. Um, let's switch these guys to like a double bottle. There we go, nice. Okay, when you lose to me, don't be too hard on yourself. 
It's not that you're weak, I'm just too strong. Even at the risk of life, I will win. I will turn, I won this battle. Okay, but you both sound pretty confident, so let's see how your battle skills are. Dun dun dun, one Pokemon each. Curlia and a Metatype. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use Shut Up on the Curlia and I'm gonna use Fly on the Metatype. Shut Up on the Curlia, Fly on the Metatype. There we go, nice. Go. There goes the killer. Yeah? High jump kick. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, good, still missed. Okay. Keep going, crash. It did more damage to itself. Um, we'll use strength on it, I guess. Half main to the mid height. <laughs> okay. So Peter's just up there in the air ready to attack with fly, but the battle's already over. You're just too strong. What? You, what you do, it horrifies me. Well, I just beat you on a Pokemon box. How, how does that horrify you? Anyway, here's thanks for thirty-four dollars and fifty-six cents, guys. I really appreciate. I really appreciate it. Okay, so um, I can get this right. I didn't get it right at all. I didn't get that right at all, man. I messed that up, didn't I? Okay, I'll go. It just takes a lot of trial and error, I guess. Okay, now what is this way we went to? Waits to this room, okay. And the, okay, I think I know how to. We have to go back to that one room though. Okay, so you, you want to do that battle first and then come down to this room. I think I got this though, so we'll see what happens. It's good to just battle the trainer so they're not in your way and they don't throw off your uh, train of thought. Like when you're trying to do this puzzle. Okay, there we go. And then we go back. So this try this gym isn't really that hard. I mean, of course, got a makeover from the first game from Ruby and Sapphire, because it got a complete makeover with the sliding panels, like you stepped on and just slid. But this time around, they just made all these switches and stuff. And there you go. You just keep they keep it your they keep your work like that in this room, and then boom. And so yeah, there's your pattern, and then there's gym leaders. So yeah. This has been the end of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide part, and the next part will take on Tate and Eliza, the seventh gym leaders of Hoenn. I guess you could say. So this has been John Go again. I'd like to thank you again, goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide.